Wang and Kali Huang, uh, who is doing almost end of my repair education job. For that, I prepared my education speech in terms of our leadership skills. Okay, we have a certain mission of Toastmasters. Do you know what it is? Okay, I try to remember it, but I'm not sure. So let's, uh, let's say both together. Okay, the mission of Toastmasters is to provide a mutually supportive and positive learning environment in which every member has the opportunity to develop communication and leadership skills, which in turn foster self confidence and personal growth. And there are two keywords in here, which is communication and leadership. This is the key words which represent what Postmaster is. And these two words are also represented by this education program. Okay. You all know what CC is. Okay. If you finish your 10 manual speeches in the CC manual, which is Competent Communicator, you're recognized as CC, which Chuyang completed, Neo completed. This is usually just a common for every member, usually. And what's the next? What best communicate to bronze, what best communicate to silver and gold? You want to reach to the end? It's impossible unless you concentrate on the leadership track, which is on the opposite side. But, uh, we, uh, we need to concentrate on from competent leadership, which you already have this. But I'm sure many of you are not that com uh, not that com uh, familiar with this. Then, what is competent leadership is? Okay. See, our award is given to a member who completed ten projects in this manual. Seal manual. Let's see what kind of projects are in here. Okay. Here you can see ten projects in here. And it helps members to develop your leadership skills by serving various meeting roles. Okay, for example, project one. The project is the listening and leadership. And this project will help you to practice your listening and leadership skills by serving those roles. Evaluator, field topics, and our counter and grammaria. Okay, then what can we get by concentrating on this competent leadership. Of course, we can get leadership skills. And, and we can get it from practical leadership experience at practicing environment. This meeting offers you great opportunities for that. And the number two is, we can find values from various roles. It's just, just every role. Okay. You think, and we usually call time or counter grammarian as minor roles, but that's not minor. We can practice so many leadership skills by serving and concentrating on that role. And number three, we need evaluator for each role, every role. So uh, if you practice your leadership skills by serving role of timer, you will have your own evaluator, even to a timer. It's not minor. So, we will be connected as a leader and evaluator. So, I think some of you don't think that uh, this meeting doesn't offer members to co connect directly and individually with each other. But by concentrating on this, you can talk and communicate with me uh, more members. Okay, then let's see how we can use this uh, competent leadership manual. Okay. Step one, you should peruse the manual. Okay, let's take the project number two as the example. Okay, project number two, theme is critical thinking. Okay, here it is. You should peruse the manual because these texts are containing all valuable and practical tips and lessons about this. And at the end of this, uh, this is the evaluation page. And the, usually this, uh, this part uh, advises you which role can 
you can practice all this critical thinking. And let me read. The leader is uh, the leader is to practice good critical thinking skills while serving in any two or three meeting roles listed below. And the three roles are evaluator, grammarian, and general evaluator. So if you finish any two roles among these three roles, you are considered that you already completed the project number two. And the one more tip is that you don't have to start from project number one. You can start from project five, and then two, six, or number one. It's all up to you. Okay then, step number two. You should ask an experienced member to be your evaluator. Okay. Mm, just okay for take example with a um, timer. Okay. If you assign your role as a timer, uh, you should ask a member to be your evaluator and ask uh, asking which project title you are practicing. What you are practicing with this with that role. I think uh, you should give uh, evaluator enough time to inspect, to study what uh, the project the leader is practicing. Then she can concentrate, he or she can concentrate on and then focus on that, especially that project. And you will get the written evaluations on this evaluation <coughs> sit here. And if you need more, you can ask, how was it? How was I doing? What do you think after the meeting? So we will get verbal evaluation, which will be very helpful and direct. Okay, number three, okay, serve your role, considering which leadership skill you're practicing. Okay. For example, Grammarian, uh, project, from project number one to project number four, four, uh, four number of projects are requiring you uh, to be Grammarian. And just by serving a whole grammarian, sometimes you can practice your listening and leadership skills and critical thinking and giving feedback or time management. Okay, number four, if you finish your, uh, one of your project, you can fill this form out. Okay. Can you see? I filled out already a lot. <laughs> Then once you complete, once you filled out the whole table here, you are eligible to get CL, Competent Leadership Title. Okay. Then you will get, of course, leadership. Okay. Now you can see why this Toastmasters meeting has so many roles and why is it so various. And, and you, you know now, we cannot call time or grammarian our counters as minor roles. Just for our convenience, we call that roles like that, but every role has value. And I think, I hope you can find a value from it. Thank you.